generally like to keep it pretty vanilla on this channel, but I think this might be my most controversial video yet. Hi, it's Ashley from Sweet Dreams Bake Shop and welcome back to my channel where I make a lot of cake and cookie decorating tutorials as well as give a lot of baking business tips. And it has been a minute since I gave you guys some solid baking business tips. And I have to say that this is probably one of my most highly requested videos. A long time ago, I did make a whole pricing video on cakes, and I still stand by everything that I said in that video, but I'm going to give you more of an inside scoop than I did back then. So we could sit here and talk about the value of your work and why you should price a certain way and all of that great stuff that sounds very sugar-coated and nice. Like I said in my past videos, this is how I approached pricing. And it's all true, but there's some elements that are really missing from the cake pricing info here on YouTube and really any other type of video that I've heard. This is real world advice. I have experienced this. I continue to watch it. And so I know it to be true and valid. Again, this is only based on my anecdotal experience. I don't have a degree in marketing. I just have a degree in education. So really they don't align and I understand that. However, the caking world is very, very different than other consumer products. And usually when you listen to the advice of how to price things, it's this fancy little calculator about time and ingredients and then you average those things out or you put them together and then that's how you come up with this magic number. But for custom cakes, it simply cannot work like that. And the bottom line is there's a reason why I price these cakes the following way. This cake would be $750 Canadian because it does require some level of replication. It also requires things to be relatively clean and perfect. The technique that I used on this cake was a lot simpler than the previous cake, so this would be $650 Canadian. And the one simple fact as to why those cakes are priced the way they are is because of skill. That's it. It's not time. It's not anything else. It's skill. I should rewind that back a little bit. It is a little bit about time, but it's mostly about skill. See, here's the thing. A lot of people will tell you to calculate how long something approximately takes you. And there is a huge reason why that doesn't work. First of all, when you're taking on custom cake orders, you're going to encounter things that you've never ever made before. So how in the world are you supposed to know exactly how long that cake is going to take you? Especially if it's something like a highly carved cake or it requires a lot of inner structure. You need to give your client a quote. That's what people are looking for. So how are you exactly supposed to take out your calculator and estimate how much time it's going to take you? You really can't be accurate with that. The other thing is time is not really a good way to measure things because some people are incredibly fast, but they could create a product that is just as beautiful as somebody else that takes eight hours to create the same product. My friend is super, super quick. Yes, we can probably both create a very comparable product to each other, taste-wise, ingredients-wise, and it would probably cost us around a similar amount to make the exact same thing. But she shouldn't get paid less just because she's able to whip that out in two hours and it takes me seven hours. So this is why I think time is really not the best judge. It really comes down to what kind of product are you offering your client? What is your client actually receiving? Let's say we're not comparing professional against professional. And I'm using the term professional as in somebody that is technically skilled enough to create cakes like this. Let's say you are trying to judge this based upon somebody that is completely an amateur, unskilled in every way, and then somebody that has taken years and years to learn their craft. Well, let me tell you, if you put somebody that's an amateur and somebody that's an expert and you give them each 12 hours, you can't really compare that. The person that's the expert is going to create the product that somebody is actually wanting. So yes, supply and demand obviously plays a giant role when it comes to pricing your cakes. 
Here's the thing, the more creative you are, the more outside of the box you are, the more your skill set allows you to create the things that your customer base is looking for, that is when your prices go up. And this is why when you're first starting out, no, you can't start with your prices way up here. You have to be realistic. You've got to look at your skill for what it actually is. And that is the tough part about pricing cakes. But your customers will always be very obvious and upfront with you if you're actually pricing your cakes in a fair and just manner. Now listen to me very, very carefully. Your customers, not randoms that are telling you that your prices are too expensive and they can get it cheaper elsewhere. Because let me tell you, if they're haggling with you, that means they like your work already. So they obviously want your work. They're just trying to devalue it because in this industry, for some reason, it seems like very common practice to do this to people. Even on this public platform where I've been very clear that I don't sell cakes at all anymore, so I could really care less about what people are saying about my pricing. I'm really providing this for people like you that want to learn how to price cakes or just have a general sense of how much things cost. But I will get comments that say, $750, that's rich, or that's hilarious, I would never pay that much for that. Okay, totally acceptable. I also wouldn't pay $750 for a cake. I wouldn't. I wouldn't pay that for just a child's birthday cake. But if that was something that I really, really wanted, then yeah, I'm gonna have to pay that price. But then you turn around and I'll get the comments of $750, that's totally worth that price. I believe that in real life, those type of people would be my customers. And here's the thing, some people don't really care about the quality of their cakes. So they're going to go to a bakery that's going to offer them something for, you know, $200, $300 cheaper. And that's okay. But not all hope is lost. If you've opened up a bakery in an area that maybe just isn't really wanting these crazy custom cakes at super, super high prices, then you can use a calculator for this type of thing. But you can only use it sparingly for cakes that are stock orders. So it's cakes that are always the same every single time. And the reason that you can use a calculator for that is because if you have staff, then you should have regulations on how long a cake should take your staff. So for example, if you have a signature cake that's two tiers covered in buttercream with sprinkles on top and a drip, let's say, with really, really simple piping, you can say, okay, staff, you need to be trained so that you're finishing this cake in under one hour or something like that. Or you can also do test runs and see how long it takes your average typical staff member to complete that cake. And then you can go ahead and calculate, okay, here's how much it costs me to make it, here are my profit margins, and then that cake is always going to be that price every single time. And you can offer a little bit of customization, color, type of sprinkles, but I really wouldn't veer anywhere away from that and then try to add on things in your head. What I'm saying is sometimes you're going to get people that are like, oh, can I get that signature cake? But then I also want three fondant figures on top. Then you're going to run into problems because what's going to happen is your customer is going to say, well, the base price of this cake though is only this amount and I'm only adding on three fondant figures. So why is it so much more expensive. In their mind, it seems rather simplistic, and this is where we get the haggling problems from. So that's why it is so much better to just say, these are our stock cakes, all custom orders are going to be quoted for. Now here is where some controversy comes in. You are your own person. We are artists. That is what we're doing. We're creating edible art. So just because I priced this cake at this price doesn't mean that you will. Your skill set is different from my skill set. And this is also why, you know, you get the customers that say, oh, but this place is only charging this much for that. It might take you a lot longer to do that technique, or maybe you're just not as good at that technique. So you do have to price it according to your skill set. And this wasn't a video to really tell you exactly how to price, but 
It's more of a video on saying why pricing differs so much, why it's okay for your cakes to vastly change in prices. And there is no such thing in cake decorating as price gouging. Nobody, absolutely nobody is forcing anybody to buy your cakes. Cakes are a luxury. You don't have to buy them. It's the same thing as if you went to go purchase a Lamborghini and you're haggling on the price because you're like, well, Honda's cars are way cheaper and they both do the same thing and they both use similar materials, but you like the look of the Lamborghini. So you want the Lamborghini. You gotta pay the Lamborghini prices. So I'm really sorry if you were here looking for some sort of really great calculator that's up to date and is all about 2023 pricing and the crazy inflation that we've all been dealing with, but this is actually the best calculator of all because it's a calculator that's going to continue on and on and on for many years. The principles that I'm teaching you in this video are things that are going to remain. It's stagnant. It's something that continues on in the caking business. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe so you can be part of the Sweetie Fam. Right now, I'm uploading weekly, so make sure you hit that notification bell so you know when I upload. Also, be sure to comment, request, or ask a question. I love hearing from you guys. Bye!